where is the actual moat? I think this is something that's really underappreciated still about Ledger. And to Pascal's point about there being so much more road to go, to me, it's that. I mean, look, you could say this year is the worst year for cybercrime. Every year for the rest of your life and be correct. You don't need to check your facts on it. You'll be right. We know that, right? Security becomes more and more security, not only security, but also privacy becomes more and more and more important in our lives. You know, I think if you follow kind of Balaji talking about this movement from state to network, um, you know, as that happens, security and privacy are become, you know, more important to humanity and, and you know, humanities who care about freedom. Um, than ever before. And that for me was, wait a minute, here's this fundamental thing. First of all, there are dozens of billions of smart cards on the planet already. You know, you've got a few of them in your pocket, one's in your passport, they're in all the credit cards that you have, and not a single one of them can you up get, update the operating system on, can you install an arbitrary app on, you know, and we all need them. Right, So every time you do something secure with your phone, it's a joke. You know it's a joke. Oh, I've got I've to approve this credit card transaction. Like, oh, I've got to order a taxi cab in Paris. Now, oh, they're going to send a notification and I'm going to use my watch to open it. And then, come on, we know, first of all, like, that's just a hoop to jump through. It's like, it's as, you know, it's, it's security theater, not security. Um, and a device like Ledger will make all things more secure. So sure, crypto is an incredible uh, use case, but as Pascal was saying earlier with um, the security key app, which does, you know, which does 2FA and pass keys with what Charles announced on stage last week at Permissionless mm -hmm. with Ledger Sync, where, I mean, this is gigantic. We've always said that Web 1.0 was log in with your username and password. Web 2.0 is log in with Facebook, log in with Google, log in with iCloud, log in with Twitter. In other words, who owns you and bye bye to your privacy. And the promise of this technology is that I can be in control of my data. And, you know, so that to me, what, what was a big part, and like Pascal said, and the reason that I've sort of thrown my opportunity cost in. Um, with with Pascal and the rest of the team at at Ledger is is that long term promise mm -hmm. of the ne the necessity of you know we will have digital ownership in our digital lives um, we you know security and and you know security is a bigger and bigger problem every year lack of privacy privacy is something we need to steal it's already been stolen from us and we need to steal back mm -hmm. right no one no one at Ledger no one at Ledger is here because they want to build the future bank. Right. There's something bigger in the water here yeah. and we feel it. And that's, I think it's, I think it's, um, I think it's important to mention.